What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing a short video with you guys of how to play unlimited, no time limit offline games against superstar difficulty through training mode. So I'm going to go over here to the extras menu from the main menu in eFootball 2022 where it says extras on the top tab and then I'm going to go down to training and click on this icon. Now when you started eFootball 2022 you would have played a kind of an intro match between Portugal and Argentina. So this is basically a new training mode within eFootball 2022. You've got free training, corner kick, free kick, penalties that you can practice. But the free training is, is, is really, is really kind of cool. So this is basically just to show you the ins and outs of the game, you know, and the, the game is giving you a tutorial of how, you know, the new shot mechanics work, the new passing, dribbling, all the basic controls, advanced controls, you can work through these. You can also turn it off by pressing the touchpad on your PS5. But yeah, I mean, it's a really cool feature in the game because it means that you can, you can pretty much do a load of training with it. You can do free training, as I said, practice your corner kicks, your penalties and your free kicks. But one of the best aspects of this and the best features of this is if you press square on this and go into the training settings, you can change pretty much anything. So you can turn it on to superstar match level difficulty against the AI. You can make it 7v7. You can have a 5v5. You can do a 10v4. You can do whatever you want. It's fully customizable. And you can train up and play different rotations and different things. But this is the coolest thing, right? If you go down along the list, you will eventually come to Argentina, who you'll be able to pick. And you can pick practically anyone that's going to be in the game when they do add the, the proper offline mode. So you, you know, for example here, I'm choosing a Celtic versus Rangers match. You select your two teams, one for the home, one for the away. You're playing as the home. It's on superstar difficulty and it's an unlimited offline match, basically. Now, there isn't obviously, you know, a goals and they don't count. You'll have to keep track of them yourself. But everything else plays out as is. And the game does reset, you know, from corners. There's like, it's pretty much like a free mode um, where you don't need to worry about time limits. Obviously, at the moment, with the five minute time limit on the offline game uh, matches in exhibition mode for console players, you know, th this is this is so much better than that because you can like customize it. You can change teams on the fly. It's super quick. And every league is here. Like you can go into all the leagues here, like as I'm showing you here now. Um, and, and choose whatever team that you want to play. So play, say that you want to play as Ajax, you can choose them. And then for the away team, you can choose somebody else. You know, you can choose whoever you want, play as many games as you want. Obviously, look, we all want an offline mode that we'll be able to put on to like 30 minute matches and have, you know, freeze and all that. You can turn on fouls or turn them off if you want as well. So if you're, if you're, uh, if you're a right keen type of player, you can leave the fouls off and just absolutely butcher players, but it probably won't be the best practice for online. The refs are a bit the refs are a bit soft now, you know, but yeah, it is nice. It's a nice feature. And I see a lot of people that actually don't know about it, that they're just keep rinsing and repeating five minute matches, which to me, I'm using this mode strictly for two things, right? The first thing I'm using it for is to go in and look at certain players that I want to buy, look at their faces, look at their player models, look at their player ID. And then the second thing is to test out those players. If I'm thinking of buying somebody like Neymar, I'm going to get him in here and I'm going to see, okay, well, how does he control in training mode? you know, what are his tricks like? What's his player ID like? How fast is he compared to, let us let me load up Argentina here and see how fast Messi is on the ball versus Neymar. How fast is Sterling on the ball? And obviously, if you want to go in and get a couple of screenshots of your favorite players, your favorite team as well, some of the faces, the renders of them are absolutely incredible. So some need a bit of work, obviously, but some of them are really, really, really nice when they hit the certain lighting, if they're the high res ones. So yeah, let's, let's just thought I'd share that with you because I know a lot of people have been asking me um, to do a video on it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just going to change a couple of things around here now as well. And what's included in this as well is the new licenses. So you've, you know, you've got your League One and you've got PSG and all them as well. But you've also got like the J League, the MLS, the national teams. You've pretty much got everything in here that you can go in and look at all the players, all the teams. And as I said, if you're thinking of buying a really good player in Dream Team and before you buy him, you want to test him out, you can't do it in Exhibition at the moment. So for this... You can go in here and you can just test out whoever that you want to test out and then you'll know exactly how they play instead of having to try and learn all his tricks and his moves and his playing style and his movement style, his dribbling stance, everything like that uh, when you load up the game. So yeah, we're just going to leave you there with a little quick look at Neymar and then a quick free kick from Neymar. But yeah, let me know if this helped you guys. You can pretty much play no time limit matches against Superstar AI. 
and have a bit of crack with it see how the game flows because five minute matches are just it's impossible to test how the game flows whereas with this you can do your own kind of challenges and say yeah look i'm setting a timer at 20 minutes let's see what happens and who wins after that but yeah all right lads that is it for me i'll be back with more videos quite soon let me know if this helped you out a bit and if you're going to test it out until next time peace